How you doing, everybody? Well, we're back at it again. If you saw our last video, you saw where we took the club cart completely apart. And now Steve and Steven and Danny are over here and we're getting ready to prep all the parts, get some primer on everything. Uh, it's typical um, Arizona weather. It's gonna be 115 today. So we're trying to stay inside because the uh, garage is air conditioned. So stay tuned, we got more to come. So here we have all the nuts and bolts and small pieces in bags labeled. Steve's digging through all the parts to find uh, the things we need to prime and paint. And uh, we have a few items here, the hubs, and we need to put Bondo on this. And then it's uh, pretty hot out here. It's over 100 degrees out here already. So let's get to it. So we're disassembling the, uh, the, the spindles that are taking out the brass bits, getting ready to paint. Uh, we're going to paint the, these little brackets that go on the bottom of your these probably don't need to be painted, they've got a little coating on them already. So uh, sometimes these are silver, these ones are from Renegade, so they got this black oxide coating on them. So I think they look good like that. So uh, get ready to start prepping. So on this rear cover, we're going to uh, bondo it. It turned out pretty smooth, but not smooth enough. And then we're also going to bondo and sand this radiator shroud. We're sanding all the parts to 180. I think that'll be good for the primer. Got quite a collection going here. Danny's taking off the pedals. And we'll take the master cylinder off so we can paint the, the frame. Here's the tub. We've been getting questions about this. It's really uh, stick built. Um, it's got a side piece, a front piece, and then the bottom has a flange on it, and then we drop in the bottom. You can even see where we've joined it here. And it worked out pretty good. Uh, we used 40 thousandths here and 50 thousandths aluminum there. And it turned out plenty stout when it's in the chassis. So the idea here is to sand everything to 180 and then we'll prime it and we'll get sanded again and then we'll uh, shoot some paint off. Well hey guys, while the guys are inside sanding on parts, uh, I'm going to get out here and do a little bit of extra work on the chassis. When we welded on the brake mount, I left these welds kind of nasty so I'm going to fix those up. I'm going to fix up the little welds for the uh, shock mounts on the front and I'm going to reinforce this plate. Uh, and the only reason I'm doing that is I know one guy, uh, this, these welds came apart. These nice, beautiful TIG welds. There's a lot of torque on this plate. So I'm gonna reinforce it with some welds underneath with the mix. So we'll just work on that. All right, so here we have a bunch of parts that are all uh, sanded and uh, we've cleaned them up with lacquer thinner and they're ready for primer and we're setting that up outside. Here's the primer we decided to use. It's self-etching, Rust-Oleum, got it from Ace Hardware. Works out just fine for cycle carts. So we've been priming parts. Here we've primed the tub. Needs a little bit more, but it's getting there. 
And here's the parts. Once they dry, we'll flip them over, shoot the other side. All right, making progress. So here at the Cycle Cart Workshop, we invite people over on a regular basis to uh, check out cycle karting. And here's a new friend of ours, Jack, who has just finished a rolling chassis. And we said, bring it over. And we'll take a look at it. Give us a little break from the action of our sanding and priming. So let's see what he's got. This is a 1911 Peugeot, is that right? 1913 Peugeot is the inspiration car. All right. Yeah, I've been watching your videos. It took me a while. Okay, so here at Build Day, we invited Jack and Glenn over uh, to show us the new uh, rolling chassis that we built. So, uh, Jack, what's the inspiration car again? It's a 1913 Peugeot L3. And it, was that an Indy race car? It was an Indy race car. How did it do in the race? Do you know? Uh, some places say it won. Oh, sweet. I wasn't there. Well, this sounds like a nice inspiration car. And then, Glenn, you've uh, been working on cars your whole life, haven't you? You've been working on cars your whole life? My whole life. Yeah. And yeah. you're 90 years old? I cut my, <laughs> I cut my teeth on Flathead Fords in 1948. Oh, nice, nice. And so you helped Jack put this together, I take it. All right. Well, uh, so it, we noticed that it has a steel subframe here, which is real nice, half-by-half half tubing and 16-gauge steel. From, from hot rods, I was an Indy car mechanic. I've been a midget mechanic. I've been an IMSA <laughs> GT Porsche mechanic. <laughs> and... That's all behind me. <laughs> now it's this. All right. Well, you did a great job. And <laughs> so, Jack, he taught you three years ago. He taught you how to work on cars and all about them. And yeah, I never. We've taken the engine apart several times. <laughs> now you're hooked. Well, we're glad you're part of the of the uh, cycle car community. You did a great job, and you're over here to get some pointers on how to do the body. I take. How to do the body. All right. Well, you'll be part of our build day. So nice to have you over. You can make one piece and then cut it in half, right? So you can make sure it all fits. You can do that. Is your hook open or is it going to be just closed? I was thinking I'd have a hinge down there because the original one has a hinge. Yeah. It's just a piano hinge we get these at home. Face So, did we make this with one hook, Dennis, or with it two? It was two pieces. We made it in two pieces, but you could do it with one. So, what I do when I lay this out, I'll, more, I'll put um, Sharpie marks. I'll, I'll like measure one inch here. And one and a quarter here, after this bigger. Oh, okay. And it's straight on. It's much smaller. Kind of water all together. He built a oh, website I found. They were like, oh, that would be this. This is for the car. They record so the operation. Uh, we call them guidelines. When so we run it. Does, uh, the and we need to download it after I was running the book and see exactly what everybody oh, was going on. Okay. My so we've been, been building this up. And he was saying. So we don't have too many parts left to prime. Uh, Steve finished reinforcing the chassis and the uh, steering shaft. Uh, he had a little bit of weld to the pitman arm down here. Um, so, and we haven't done the rear cover yet or the fiberglass parts. We just didn't get around to it. But we're making progress though. A number of people have asked us what color we're going to paint it. Um, I was over at the paint store and... Um, in the House of Color section, they have this big board with all these color chips, every color in the rainbow, and all the variations on a particular color. And uh, we're going to go with red, and towards the darker side of the equation, not burgundy, but a dark red, and then uh, black um, front axle and a couple other black components. Um, we're pretty much going to go with this this theme here today was a lot of fun we had a good build day we got quite a few parts prepped and uh, we saw a new rolling chassis from Jack and Glenn so it was fun uh, I brought all the parts in that we primed uh, you know it's hot outside but it's humid so 
for these things to really cure, they need to be in here where the air conditioning is. Um, but uh, in the next segment, we'll sand the primer and hopefully get some color going here. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. See you next time.